Hey NLC Live, my name is Jarrett Bolden and I'm so excited to get to bring a word for you today. I come from the GLR campus and I serve with Seth Tom Bully, who is an amazing leader and friend. Um, and we serve together in real life, uh, which is our high school ministry. Today we get to dive into the word in Luke 4 verse 8. And the context with this is Jesus has just gotten baptized. God has said, this is my son with whom I am well pleased. This is my boy. And then Jesus goes into the wilderness and he's tempted for 40 days. And this is crazy. So anyways, Satan comes to him to try to tempt him. And Jesus reverts into quoting scripture, Old Testament law. And he says, it is written, this is Luke 4 verse 8. It is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. And man, like I, I get like this in life sometimes where I mean, we're, we're killing it in ministry. You know, I own a power washing business and it seems like we're doing so good. We're, we're glorifying God. We're honoring him. We're doing our best. And then we walk into these wilderness seasons that we don't even know where they come from sometimes. Maybe it's because of someone else that were there or maybe it's because of internal reasons or my life choices or whatever it may be. And we go into these wilderness seasons and it's like, yeah, God, like, I'm your child and you're well pleased with me, but did you really mean that? And God, can't you see what I'm going through now? Like, I'm being tempted. I'm being tested. Like, I'm hungry. I'm fasting. I haven't ate food. And I just, it reminds me of myself a lot. Like, just having that self-doubt and insecurity. And I started to realize that in a way, that's me trying to worship myself. That's me trying to worship man. That's me trying to worship things that are simply just not God. And I had a revelation a couple of years ago when I was working on a farm. I used to be a farmhand. Uh, amazing people, Jason and Sarah Everett, and I loved working for them. But I would sing a lot of times while I was working, and I started to realize that worship doesn't necessarily have to be you going through the motions, showing up on a Sunday, reading words off of a screen and singing them in a melody. Or if you can't sing, you're speaking them. <laughs> like me, I can't sing. Your boy can't sing. I can't dance. I, you know, I can't play an instrument. Um, but what I do know I can do is I can work hard. And I can work my butt off. I don't know if I'm allowed to say butt, Tyler, but I just said it twice, so my bad, bro. <laughs> But what's cool is if you look at the latter part of this verse, it says, serve him only. And that's from the uh, NIV version, if you wanted to look at that. And so serve him only. Like Worship is so much more than just singing. And I started to realize that it, it comes through my actions. And just some areas of my life that that looks like is with tithing. Like, am I glorifying him and worshiping with it? Or is it just one of those things where I'm like, dang, I gotta give 10%. Or maybe I don't even do it. My backslide out of it. And so that's just one area is in my finances. Another huge way is at home with my family. Like, you know, when I'm talking with my mom or with my dad or even grandparents or family members who aren't believers. You know, am I loving them? Am I speaking well? Am I reminding them that I'm not trying to shove what I believe down their throat, but just simply there and loving them the way that Christ has loved me? That's a huge way that I worship God is by honoring him and living that out. I own a power washing company with the work that I do. Am I being sloppy with it? Am I being what they expect from a guy who's my age that it's going to be bad? Or do I do it for what they pay me to do? And do I work hard and get to glorify them and get to share the gospel with them because of the work that I do when they allow me onto their property to do business? I'm also a college student. You know, am I representing my campus well when I go to NLC College and I'm attending school there and maintaining my grades and scholarships? And so it just all comes down to just being an action. Then worship doesn't have to be just singing. I remember John Eldridge in his book, Wild at Heart, he wrote about worship and he said that it is the act of the abandoned heart adoring its God. And man, if that's not me sometimes just feeling abandoned, feeling left out, and I'm just trying to adore and worship God. And so guys, thank you so much for today. I want to pray over you and I hope you got something out of this. Lord, we love you. We ask that you bless us, that you make us people who just want to worship you in everything that we do. Teach us. Let us have hearts that listen. Let us have hearts that are willing to grow and let our minds see you, worship you, 
and glorify you in all things. God, we love you and we thank you for this time. Have a great day. Thank you.